we have Eaterly uh, with Alvaro Flores. Alvaro, at this time, please feel free to share your screen and you can begin your presentation. And Alvaro, I believe you're in mute. Right. Are you able to see my screen? Uh, yes, but can you make it bigger? Okay, great. This we can see it. Thank you. Got it. Okay. All right. And the timer will start as soon as I start talking. That's correct. How important do you think social media is for restaurants? Well, in a recent report, 35% of millennials said that they would not even go to a restaurant if the Instagram presence was weak or non-existent. At Eaterly, we'll help restaurants leverage influencer marketing and customers save money. Hello, my name is Alvaro Flores and I'm the founder of Eaterly. My background is in customer sales, uh, building and leading teams, and I also have the support of my mentor, Mark Roseman Moore, and she has years of experience in business consulting, process, and design. So what is the problem? Restaurants, business is a tough one. 60% failed in the first year and 80 within the first five. Many small business owners struggle with marketing and are limited employees, the knowledge necessary, and time to effectively leverage social media. Influencers want great food, but eating often is expensive. So the solution, Eaterly is a subscription software as a service company that connects restaurants with local influencers. Restaurants use the Eaterly technology to post coupons that will be available on our app. Users will sign up to our social app using a social media account, claim these coupons and activate them by taking a picture of their food at the restaurant and sharing it on social media. How will restaurants benefit from this? Eaterly users will act as many influencers and are ready and able to generate social media content for these businesses. Restaurants will be able to schedule and automate deals with social media, follow requirements. This will result in increase in customers, a stronger social media presence and a smarter spend in marketing efforts. This is impactful because consumers are 2.4 more times more likely to be user generated content is authentic and 80% say user-generated content has a high impact on their purchasing decisions. Who are these Eaterly influencers? Well, they're you and me. Anyone who has ever written a review or posted a photo has influenced those who saw it in some way. The Eaterly users will act as many influencers for restaurants and get access to local deals, content for social media, and try great local food. Content Eaterly influencers generate can be impactful seen as 92% of consumers trust recommendations from people that they know. In this market, brands are predicted to spend upwards of $15 billion on influencer marketing by 2022 and 25 by 2025 due to its high return on investments, and the restaurant business will continue to grow. By capturing these locations at a flat monthly subscription rate for our service, we could generate upwards of $35 million in revenue a year with an overall 20%, 22% U.S. restaurant market share. Who are our customers? Chelsea is a small business owner with limited employees. And she knows a strong social media presence is needed and wants to grow her business. There are thousands of business owners like Chelsea out there. Sam is highly active on social media, has one to a thousand followers on Instagram, and wants to try great local food without breaking the bank, and is between 18 and 35 years old. Our competition includes Groupon, which routes and offers good deals to users, but doesn't generate meaningful user-generated content. Yelp does it in the form of reviews, but not great deals, and Hooch offers good rewards, but no content for these restaurants. Eaterly offers great deals for users, continuously generates content, and grows the restaurant's customer base. With the proceeds of this competition, they would be used to support additional field research and continue the customer discovery and product development. The next step would be raising funds to launch the product in select Texas markets. Thank you. It is not currently available in the marketplace on social media. It's not currently available, no. No, but no, no. What what does your software do that is not available on competitive social marketing software? So what it so what it does, I, the best comparison that you can compare this technology to would be to Groupon. Groupon offers uh, a way for restaurants to post coupons and that drives customers to the restaurant. The problem is that Groupon takes a very high percentage of the revenue. So only chains can afford to do that. With this model, which would be a monthly subscription, smaller businesses would be able to do that. They'd offer these coupons, drive customers, but the percentage of the coupon would not be dependent on the timing, which is what Groupon does. It'll be dependent on the follower count. So these discounts will drive customers. It would also generate original content that these restaurants can share. And so they can have a stronger social media presence. And on top of that, they get to market through these influencers who share this content on social media as well.
Um, Alvaro, so this is Norma. So there's this, I, I posted on the, on the chat, so I'll be super brief, but there's this uh, company called Talk, T-O-K, and they basically, they started doing reservations for restaurants and through the pandemic, they've done a lot of kind of bringing those restaurants online. And one of the models that, that I, they have that I really like is a network-based model to stratify basically the restaurants by type of food, uh, type of, you know, how much it costs, things like that. And then by creating this network, then they can leverage sort of like, you know, cross referrals or if one place is taking, you know, the delivery will take like an hour, they, they do stuff like this. So just kind of take a look at it. I think that the model you have is, is super interesting. Final question for you uh, would be like, have you have you talked to small businesses, small restaurants in the Valley and, and what's your geographical area of interest? And um, just kind of curious about what, what type of work or research you've done to hear from the local restaurant community in the Valley. Yeah, so most of the research that's done for this has been through secondary research, a lot of it from market reports from like Ibis World or, or Nielsen. So uh, the one thing that I did see as a trend is that brands are spending more on influencer marketing because it works, but smaller businesses are not able to do that and many don't even know how to go about it. So this is the way for them to do it at a very much smaller scale. So the type of people that would probably benefit from this technology are really any customer or any restaurant owner who's trying to make their life easier through the use of technology. And uh, a lot of these restaurants already use like systems for payroll or, or, or really just to manage the day to day and like some sort of card service. So targeting those restaurants, I think would make sense. And I think there's a pretty big market for uh, businesses that use that type of technology. So this is just something that's added onto there that helps their marketing and makes their life easier. Uh, Alvaro, uh, why wouldn't uh, the restaurant just post uh, coupons on their own Instagram pages rather than pay others to post? Yeah, because that's, uh, that's gonna be with reach. They post something on their page. The only people who are gonna see that are those who follow them or happen to pass by it. But if they post it on our service, they have access to the network of users that we have signed up to that. So people that would normally would not have even seen that restaurant or coupon or deal, they'd be exposed to it and that helps drive more customers to the restaurant. And uh, just to add to that, the great thing about this technology is that it could benefit from like a network effect. So the more restaurants are signed up, uh, it'll benefit the users and the more users, uh, it'll benefit the restaurants as well and it could grow naturally very fast. It's a great idea. Do you think about this um, application in any other, either brick, or mor brick and mortar or other sorts of um, consumer goods? Did we have any other questions? Okay, great. Thank you, Alvaro, for that great presentation.